And so the month of March set in, and I asked myself, how do I prepare to lead an organization through a global pandemic? How do I begin to prepare for what could be the most difficult and stressful time of my professional career? How do I find the courage? And how does the senior leadership team keep our Norway Savings Bank employees safe and healthy no matter what? How do we keep running the bank? How do we serve our customers? And how can we use bank resources to help those in need? So that was kind of my mindset on that late winter day in March. Our first COVID task force meeting was March 3rd, and my heart still quickens when I read through the minutes of that first meeting. 125 remote workers, overnight deployment of laptops, closing branch lobbies, Lysol wipes, inventory, N95 masks, sanitizer supplies, any one of these represented significant challenges. And then the letter came in the mail. I remember that day vividly. Every single one of us received one and I held it in my hands for just a moment. You guys remember it? It was very official. It said, per the guidance of the Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Department of the Treasury, the financial services sector has been identified as a critical infrastructure sector. In other words, we were deemed an essential business that had to maintain business operations. Looking back on it, maybe it was this formal document that gave me the strength and resilience to soldier on in the face of such a challenging time. Suddenly, we needed to all think of ourselves as essential workers or economic first responders. We were on the front lines fighting a global pandemic with the federal government mandating now that we had a special responsibility to continue our business operations. Our COVID task force met daily, sometimes more than that. Every team member leaned in to offer solutions for complex issues in no time, we had a whole fleet of laptops deployed. We built an automated system that could talk to the SBA. We closed hundreds of PPP loans. We facilitated stimulus payments to our customers and we made sure our facilities were safe and clean. We gave away N95 masks when others needed them more than we did. And we sent thousands of dollars to soup kitchens when food insecurity soared in Maine and we reassured customers their funds were safe with us, their lines of credit were still available and their investments were safe. Perhaps most meaningfully, we took care of each other while some teammates faced significant health uncertainties, others quickly covered for them. No task was too big. I really didn't hear any complaints. Everyone was unified. And so, Norway Essential Workers, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You will all forever be my teammates, the ones who went through COVID with me, the ones who taught me that Norway Savings Bank Essential Workers are unique, special, and unlike any others. It's in times of crisis that strong leaders emerge. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I'll try again tomorrow. I celebrate you.